Hi, welcome back. It's Scott Howard here. Today we're going to be talking about pressure transducers. We're going to look at what the board is doing and what the pressure transducer itself is doing. So if you like these videos, please hit like and subscribe to the channel so we can keep doing these. Here's the pressure transducer that's used on all of the um, Amana and Daikin systems. Um, a lot of our big VRB systems use these as well. It's going to be a sweat in part. It's going to have a little collar here, um, you know, formed into the copper. So when you're, you know, you're going to sweat this thing in, that you don't want to push it down past this little seal here, this little collar, to, you know, so we don't prevent a restriction inside the line set itself. But with the pressure transducer, it's getting voltage from the board that helps it read the pressure and then it converts that pressure into a DC volts and sends it back to the boards on a pair of the wires. So let's go through the little plug in and figure out which wires are which. Uh, it's got a four prong plug with only three wires in it. It's got a, a red, a black, and a white wire. Number one is white. Number two is empty. Number three, the black wire, which is common. Number four is a red wire, which is the hot wire. The board is sending five volts DC out on wire number four and returns it on wire number three, the common. And then it's going to read pressure. Um, it's just, just say it's going to take 200 PSI and it turns that 200 PSI into a 1.5 volt DC um, um, voltage signal that it sends back on wire number one which also utilizes common here. So you got 200 PSI, it takes, you know, the, the pressure transducer is reading that, that pressure, converts it to a voltage, it sends 1.5 volts back on wire number one. Now normally I'll tell you always have a, um, you know, a manual, but when you're looking at the Daikin product, this particular part I really don't need a manual for it if I just understand a few things. The board is sending out 5 volts DC on wires 4 and returns it on number 3. Now that's 5 volts DC plus or minus 5%. So you've got a small variance that's allowed. You get outside of that range, the board is bad. As long as we're inside that range, the board's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So, like I said, we got 200 PSI. So the, this pressure transducer converts that to 1.5 volts DC on wires one and three. Now for every 100 PSI you go up in pressure, it's gonna gain a half a volt. So 300 PSI is two volts, 400 PSI is 2.5 and on up. Now with 200 being my baseline, Every 100 PSI I take away from that, it'll drop down the, um, the DC volts a half a volt. So 100 PSI would only be one volt. So, you know, pretty easily I can come over here and I can check on the side of the plug. I'll have to have a set of Molex tip probes, you know, to get in here. But I have to check right here on the side of the plug with this, um, this particular part energized. So when I do that... I'll be able to um, check and see what the pressures are, then compare that to the actual pressure that I'm showing on my gauges. So if you'd like to see more of these videos, hit like, hit subscribe, and, and come back and spend some more time with us. See you soon. Bye.